Skyrim is a game full of mysteries, like the disappearance of the Dwemer, or what the bee in a jar eats to maintain his perpetual flight in jar purgatory, or why my wife Mjol doesn't look at me the same way she used to look at Aaron. But that's a problem for our marriage counseling. Today, we're looking at a different dark, cold, loveless conundrum. This big ball down in Blackreach. You see, Skyrim's first light bulb has an easter egg attached to it that only activates when a shout is used on it. But what if the player can't use shouts? Which brings us to our hero, Joe Joman, a normal, non-dragonborn man on a quest to become the High King of Skyrim. Now, Joe has a problematic past of going on anti-elf rants while in Dwemer ruins. Look, Feindal, it's your brother. But he was able to deduce that this is the result of evil dwarven mind control technology. However, after a particularly notable incident in Windhelm, You a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash! It was clear that the mind control was reaching the surface world. So, to bring an end to hate and bigotry in Skyrim, as well as boost his poll numbers for the moot, Joe set out to break the malicious device behind it all down in Blackreach. But, Joe can't shout, except at his wife and kids. And since the Dragonborn is probably busy fighting Alduin or running out of iron again building a hearth firehouse, we needed to find someone skilled in the way of the voice to help us. There are no followers who can shout, Be careful. but there are other ways to make someone follow your every command in Skyrim. Conveniently, during the Windhelm incident, Joe got his hands on some powerful necromantic artifacts, and right here on page 256 of the Book of Fates, it discusses the Ritual Stone, a standing stone power that can be used once a day to resurrect nearby bodies. Notably, the bodies do not disintegrate when the spell ends the way they do with normal conjuration spells. This means that it can be used indefinitely on the same corpse as long as you wait 24 hours in between. Now, all Joe needed was the corpse of someone who can use shouts. And again, Windhelm held the answer. So, Joe packed some extra Lunchables for the 24 hour waits in his future, grabbed the ritual materials he'd been cultivating in his spoiled meat corner, and headed for the city with a population of 5. Real quick, I gotta hop in here to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already, and to follow my Twitch where we film these live. Thanks, now back to Weekend at Ulfric's. Now hopefully, there's not too many- Oh, we- actually, you know what, we probably don't have to hide in this city. I doubt there's anybody left who would oppose us around here. Alright, well, Jarl Ulfric, I know you once enforced segregation in this city, but <laughs> we're gonna use your rotting corpse for a much greater purpose. Yeah, that's why we were gonna, it was gonna do everyone in the area, so I'm gonna bring him over here for a little bit more, uh, peace and quiet. Now, uh, the book, uh, there's a lot of details on how I need to do this, you know, we need, it takes a lot of rotting food. You gotta get it just right. You need to scatter it onto his corpse. That's probably good. Then, uh, of course we need, we need the hearts. We need the, uh, we need the toes. That's for sure. We definitely can't do necromancy without toes. Jarl Ulfric. I command you now, rise to serve my greater purpose. Oh, and there we go. All right, Ulfric. And so, Joe began his journey with his former rival, now teamed up for a greater purpose that Ulfric would probably despise if he still had free will. Their destination was Raldbathar, the closest Dwemer ruin with a Black Reach entrance. And now, now's the hard part. So we're kind of, uh, we're not really on a timer, but we kind of are, because the spell only lasts so long, it's like a minute or something, before he falls over dead again. And then we have to wait 24 hours before we can use it again. So we're basically limited by how much, like, food and water we have, because every time, every time the spell ends, we're gonna have to do a 24 hour break before we can resurrect him again. We gotta keep an eye on him, because if I lose his body, it's gonna kind of suck. What was that? Ooh, okay, see? Ulfric knows how to shout. That's good. That's a good sign right there. Oh. Okay, well, that's that's how far we were able to make it before he passed out and, and died. So we made it, like, halfway to the entrance of Raldbathar. Okay, so not, not terrible. Now we just have to wait 24 hours. So I'm gonna do that with the bed to make sure that our our sleep is always at least taken care of. 
We could just try dragging him, you're right. Oh shit, we're freezing? Get up, old frick. We got a long ways left to go still. Okay, freezing to death might be an issue though. Bring some ale? Actually a really good point. There we go. Three ales, that should keep our belly warm. Drink more ale? Guys, we're we're a chaperone for Ulfric right now. We can't be drunk, that would be irresponsible. Look at him, he barely even knows where he is. He's been dead for a while, I'm sure that can't be good for your brain. Who's there? What? It's me, Ulfric. What are, you, what are you yelling at? Oh, Jesus. We have to fight everything he picks a fight with, too. We might make it inside before we have to do that again. That'd be very nice because, oh, because we're freezing to death. All right, more ale. That ought to fix it. <laughs> no, thank you, Sanguine. Not today. Just just the alcohol for me today. No Daedra worshiping, Sanguine. Ooh. Carry a torch? Okay, yeah, hold on. Maybe I can stop us from, like, hitting the freezing to death stage. Okay, come on, Ulfric. Things are getting bad. We have warmer clothes. <laughs> Damn it, we left our winter clothes with Feindall. Oh. Oh, I thought we died. <laughs> okay, now we died. Wait, maybe we can make a campfire. All right, all right. Oh, we're missing one firewood. Shit. We get frost. We quickly maneuver our way up. I really hope there's not bandits up here. That would make things harder. There are bandits up here. That's gonna make things harder. Okay. We go inside. We I'm stuck. We go inside. And if we're lucky, Ulfric comes with us. Shit. Okay, well, hold on. Uh, if, I sur if I can even survive this, we can at least warm up in here and then go back outside and try to find him. What is the fart wolf's name? He doesn't get a name. Actually, now his name's Fart Wolf. Good job. Go into the fire. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me get. Let me warm up really quick. Get get nice and toasty here. Ah. Uh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. Too toasty. Too toasty. Too toasty. Oh, uh, that that pro that had to warm us up, right? We're still freezing to death. I don't know how. Wow. Our stats are not looking great right now. <laughs> Freezing to death really takes the toll on the old restoration skill, huh? After suffering first degree eyeball burns that would affect his vision for the entire dungeon, Joe managed to bring Ulfric inside with him. Oh shit, I missed. The blurry vision. <laughs> There's no way I missed two in a row. Ulfric, that was a stealth attack! Oh, he knows how to get in there. I'll give him that. How much health does he have though? Okay, it's actually gonna be really annoying if he dies. Oh shit. Okay, get off of him, get off of him. Every time we let him die, we're gonna have to wait another 24 hours, so... Oh shit! Okay, he's dead. No, he's dead. Oh fuck. So this is kind of a protect the president scenario. Oh shit. God damn it. <laughs> I don't remember how deep this dungeon is, but I don't think it's that far. Well, that's as far as we got, Ulfric. Before we resurrect him again, I'm gonna get him this plate armor. Ulfric refused the outfit we got him and chose to be naked in defiance. But overall, the escort mission was going well. Oh god. Okay, Ulfric, you're gonna have to be very careful here. Oh, bro, there's, n there's no way I get him up this, like, alive, right? Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. There's no <laughs> I didn't even make it. Come on, Ulfric, go! Go! Oh, yeah, okay. Oh god, we're gonna have to extract his corpse. Highly dangerous maneuvers here. Oh god, it's coming, it's coming. This is horrifying. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Get up. Uh, okay, I'm clenching, I'm clenching. We're good, we're good. Oh god, getting him around this pillar. Oh shit, why'd he go that way? Okay, I tossed him. That was a good toss. Good form on the toss. Oh, he's so heavy. <laughs> oh shit, what? No, 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 oh. Jesus Christ. Come on, get out of there, old frick. Oh my God. Cannot sleep while there's enemies nearby. Damn it, what enemies are nearby? Hello? I hear, I hear ball noises. Oh, yeah, there. Fuck. And I, I really do love that we've, we've had the, the so-called fart wolf with us for like months now. 
And we've just never really addressed it. I'm glad we finally got him a name today. Oh shit, that's the lip. Oh, I took my hand off the mouse. Oh my god. Why are there so many jump scares in this place? Wow, that was an awesome fart wolf action shot. <laughs> TM. Next up was the Falmer floor, brought to you by Fart Wolf Inc. Oh god. Ulfric, be careful, don't touch that. Okay, you can touch it a little bit, I guess. What was that? Oh Jesus, it's a lot of Falmer. Um, is that a Falmer? I can't see. Now you're mine. Oh! Oh my god, wait. He threw him in the rat pit. Wait, Ulfric is a machine when it comes to fighting Falmer. Oh, it's probably because they used to be elves. He, he's great at this. Now you're mine. Ulfric, quit fighting the rats. The rats are not our enemies. He's laughing about it. This guy's got some got some screws loose. Oh nice. The disarm? <laughs> He's trying to pick up his sword. Don't let him. Bully him. What was that? Oh god, Ulfric's already on the prowl for his next victim. What are you acting all aggro about, Ulfric? There's not even anybody here. Wait, where did he go? You're not supposed to wander off without me, buddy. Oh god, check the corpses. Oh. Uh, well, it looks like he exerted himself a little bit too much. That's okay, we'll get him going again. I'm gonna carry him away from all the Falmer corpses because I really don't want any of them following me ever, to be honest. So I hate Falmer. Honestly, yeah, a little bit, but not because they're elves. That's not why. I, they're just always rude to me. No, I don't hate snow elves, just the Falmer. Guys, we can't get into this. This is, this is the exact problem. This is why we're coming down here and going to all this trouble. So we can finally put an end to all, oh! I was giving a speech! Ow! What, what is this American sniper shot coming from? I can't even see him! Is that... Is that the enemy? Oh... Oh, I hit him. <laughs> Eat shit! I don't even know what I'm shooting at. Well, that takes care of that. What the fuck? Oh god, we got a Falmer. Whatever, that's fine. We can bring a little buddy along. He can, he can, we can pretend it's Feindal. Do you think all elves are the same? No, guys, I'm just saying he can, he can serve as a little replacement, okay? And although it looks nothing like Feindal, whatsoever. Ow. I need Ulfric. I need Ulfric. I need Ulfric. God, they're, they're crawling menacingly. Oh, uh, thank you, Fart Wolf. He always comes when no one else will. We love Fart Wolf. This is the Fart Wolf, guys, this is our Fart Wolf appreciation stream. Today is all about forgiveness and welcoming and Fart Wolf. All the gas leaks in the ruins were getting to Joe's head. No, not that gas. But we were making steady progress and rapidly approaching Blackreach. Oh, great. Mysterious buttons. I love button puzzles. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, that was the wrong button. Now I really can't fucking see. <laughs> uh, what about this one? Is that the right one? Oh shit, that was the kill Ulfric button. Damn, where was that one during the Civil War? <laughs> I'm gonna try to- guys, I, I know you guys loved our Falmer friend, but I'm gonna drag him this way so uh, we can leave him behind here. I think he'd be happier getting to wait over here. Guys, we've been over this. Listen, no. I'm not afraid to say it, I don't want Falmer with me, okay? Don't say goodbye Feindal. Guys, say goodbye Falmer. I was saying he was a replacement for Feindal. It wasn't actually Feindal. He doesn't look anything like him. Well, I mean, that's not entirely true. He looks more like Feindal than he does look like, you know, me or like a Nord, but that's besides the point. Great. And more enemies. Here, I'll tuck Ulfric in. You have a nice little nap, buddy. I have some more enemies I need to hunt down and kill. Hello? Oh. <laughs> no, I, okay, you know what? 
I'm not a huge fan of this uh, room that I've entered. Oh, wow. Yeah, really not a big fan at all, actually. Wait, check this out. Oh, my God. Button number two. Wait, why didn't it work? I hit the trap button. Shit. I thought I was so smart. Maybe we just get out our good old friend, Mr. Dramora Kynreeve. He usually gets the job done. Oh, look at him go. God, he's such a hero. Ow! Wait, is he dead? How did he already die? How about this? While they're all surrounding Mr. Dramora, we lay down a tripwire on him. Tripwire, go! <laughs> okay, not my best plan. This would be helping more if I could hit my shots. Oh my god. Oh my, that killed him? Uh, it's just it's just me and them. It's a 1v2. We clutch these. We clutch these. Good paralysis proc. 1v1. Sudden death. Oh my god, Fart Wolf comes in to turn the tables. It's a 2v1. The overwhelming power of numbers prevails. Easy clap. Yeah, I can't wait right now. There's something trying to kill me. Oh, it's that guy. He's in the drive-thru window. Oh, I would like to order a Falmer Deluxe. Is there anybody back there? Oh my god, look at him. Why is he hiding? I need my Diet Dr. Nernroot. I can't even see him, bro. I'm, I'm, I, am I really gonna have to pick a lock to kill this thing? Wait, you know what? No, fuck that. He's going in a 1v1 Hell in a Cell match against Dramora Markinaz. I can almost see what's happening. Oh, this guy's getting clapped. Oh yeah, that's a W. Good job, Dramora. Okay, there's like something bad behind this, isn't there? I'm pretty sure there's something bad. Yeah, that looks bad. Go get him, buddy. Sick him. Oh, the Falmer's getting in on the action, too. Look at him go. <laughs> Into the water. It was a fearsome, flatulence-filled fiasco, but the Ulfric follower feat was almost fulfilled as we finally set foot into Blackreach. You see that, folks, over there? That's our target right there. <laughs> the- Oh! As Joe and Ulfric approached the accursed object that was definitely causing like 80% of Skyrim's population to hate people that don't look like them. Foreigners, what a nuisance. There was only one task left. Get Ulfric to yell at it. So... We could maybe try... Oh, wait, actually, is that a door? I think we can go up there. The next step is the reason we didn't bring Feindal and Miko with us. To get Ulfric to shout at the orb, we needed him to shout at us. Um, oh my god. Wait, we're way above it. How did we get up here? Oh my god! Wait, that was sick, Ulfric! Oh, this is the throne. Oh, don't mind if I do. Look at this. Ulfric honoring his true king. Ulfric, as my current only undead slave, you're the only man fit for this job. If you succeed at this, I shall make you Thane of Blackreach City. Okay, now this is gonna be the scary part then. We need Ulfric to, basically we need to stand here and have Ulfric shout at us and then like not die from it. All right. Oh shit. Oh my God. Okay, that killed us. But did you hear the noise? That worked. That definitely worked. But we need to somehow not die to that, though. How about this? We pin ourselves against this small pillar and just hope for the best. Hug the, hug the pillar, clench your teeth. Oh no, it was close. This could work, this could work. We get him angry, we grab the pillar and we turn our head and cough. Oh my God, I think it worked. I heard the noise. Oh, Ulfric, stop, that's enough, my son. Oh, he's beating our ass. Ulfric, halt. Oh God, I hear it. Stay back, Ulfric. Stop fighting your master, you've done enough. Your debt to Skyrim is now paid. Good job, Fart Wolf. With Ulfric's atonement complete, it was time to face the evil that had been released. Oh shit, the Falmer are fighting it. Yes! <laughs> Unity between Nords and Falmer! <laughs> we must come together! Oh! 
Jesus Christ. I need you guys to tank more. Oh my God, Fart Wolf, get him. Good boy, Fart Wolf. This is the most racist dragon in all of Skyrim. Powering the orb with his sheer hateful being. Oh my God, he's kind of strong too. Oh! A Volthuriol. I have a message for the CEO of racism. You're canceled. <laughs> That's a wrap, boys. By joining hands with his worst enemies, Ulfric and the Falmer, Joe was able to unlock the secret boss fight and end prejudice across Skyrim. We left Ulfric at the throne to serve as Thane of Blackreach and made our way to the nearest carriage to enjoy a clean, bigotless ride home in our new equal land. We might run into some of the misery. Desert. Desert.